What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna show you a very cool experiment how to make a floating balloon or flying balloon well let's check this out kids please do not try this at home ask for adult supervision for this experiment we're going to need beaker, aluminum foil balls, balloons, water and the main ingredient Pipe cleaner, Mr. Muscle. What language is that? I got this from internet. Let me know in comments below. I'm gonna open this up. Then I'm gonna pour a little bit of Mr. Muscle in the beaker. Then I'm going to put few aluminum balls in there. Then we're going to add warm water in there. Just like this. Then we're gonna put balloon over it. Boom, just like this. And let's see what happens. As you can see, it's starting filling up pretty fast, but at the same time, not too fast because we don't want it to create a bunch of bubbles and all those bubbles go inside of the balloon. So you want to get it slow fill up. Now I'm ready to take off this balloon and see what happens. I want to make a knot out of the way so any of the gas doesn't escape. Boom. Let's see if it floats. And it doesn't. Let's try this again with a smaller balloon. I feel like this balloon is too big or something. It's too heavy. So I got here a much smaller balloon. Let's put it on and see what happens. Yeah, it's filling up much faster. As you can see, it's filling up slowly. You see how it's bubbling, but it's not bubbling too much. So we don't want that liquid inside of the balloon and get it all messy. So we definitely wanna fill it up slowly, just like that. Gonna wait another five minutes. Hopefully it will fill up a lot more. This balloon looks pretty big. See if it works. I'm gonna twist the balloon so gas doesn't come out. And I'm gonna take off, take it off, and then I'm gonna make a knot over here to keep all the gas inside of it. Boom! Let's test it, see if it flies. Yeah, success! Check this out. Now I'm gonna get a string or something and wrap it around and make a knot. So check this out. Now we got a flying balloon. Pretty awesome, huh? So what do you guys think? Pretty awesome experiment. Flying balloon filled with hydrogen gas. The reason they use helium instead of hydrogen because hydrogen is a lot more flammable. But helium flammable as well. So don't set any fire near helium balloons either. They're gonna get on fire as well. But this one a lot more fa flammable. This is why they don't use them to fill up a bunch of hydrogen balloons to keep them in the house for decoration. It's just not a good idea. Please don't, don't do this. But it's a cool experiment, that's for sure. So now I'm gonna let it go and see what happens. All right, boom. And you see, it's flying really, really, really easily. Oops, it's gonna hit the tree. Oh no, it's stuck on a tree. No, it got out from a tree. So as you can see, this this balloon is definitely floats, just like a helium balloon. It's fly, fly far away. Well, looks like this balloon is gone. Please, kids, do not try this at home. Ask for adult supervision. Thumbs up this video if you like this experiment. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's gadget, then go One, two, three on this side and go and three on this side. Boom! Did I'm you sure see you that? can buy a bigger one and then you can fit more.